You can get this product and so much more at www.safariltd.com. And don't forget to use the coupon code SPINODU to save 15% on your next order and show your support for the channel. Greetings, hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Safari LTD 2010 Coelacanth. As always, Safari was very kind to send this figure over to the channel, so a big thank you out to them for sponsoring this video. But here we have the 2010 Coelacanth, and Coelacanth in general is just an incredibly interesting animal. We originally only knew about these types of fish from fossils, and we thought that they were all extinct since the late Cretaceous period, over 65 million years ago. But in the early 1900s, we actually found a live Coelacanth in the depths of the ocean, which is absolutely insane. So it is so cool that we have a living fossil like this alive and among us today. And overall, I think Safari's model of the coelacanth here is a fantastic replication of it and is without doubt the best one on the market, if not the only one on the market. I'm not aware of any other coelacanth figures that are out there right now. So as far as detailing goes on this one, you have some great fish-like scales, of course, going across the body. They really captured the shaping and style of the fins well overall. I really like the way the tail looks, and I like how they brought in a darker blue color against the vertebrae on the fins. And you have the lighter blue in between each of those protrusions, which I think is really nice. And of course you have the white speckling brought in, which is a trademark coelacanth thing. And those markings are done good enough here. It really doesn't need to be done any better than this. It's very simple. And I really like the sort of gritty, primitive look that they managed to capture on the coelacanth's head especially. And I think it really helps to have those really glossy, pale eyes. They're very intimidating in a way, and the glossy color really makes the eyes stand out against the rest of the body. I also like that they managed to capture this fish figure with its mouth open so you could take a look at the teeth at the inside of the mouth, and there is a bit of like a palish peachy white color on the inside for the mouth. But one thing that I have to say is I think it would be cool if Safari put highly glossy or even metallic finishes over some of their marine animals to really make them feel truly wet. And I think it would have been cool if the coelacanth had a gloss finish over the entire thing to really kind of seal everything together. Uh, another suggestion I sort of would have for this one is maybe give it a dark brown or even a black wash in a couple areas to really sort of give it that sort of gritty primitive feel that these animals actually have in the wild. But the style of paint that they've given it here is really good enough for me and they've really captured the general colors of coelacanth very well in a very Safari LTD way. Uh, the only other thing I'd like to point out that I find a little bit odd about the pose on this one is how one of the front fins is actually kind of twisted in the opposite direction you can see as the other one on the other side of its body. Kind of an odd design choice, but it doesn't bother me too much. I just thought it was kind of strange, so. But anyway, that was a very short review, but not too much to talk about this one other than super cool to have a coelacanth figure that's this good out on the market. I think Safari really nailed this one overall and I definitely recommend it. I think this is a really cool figure to have because it goes so well with all your dinosaurs and other prehistoric marine animals. But at the same time, it's just crazy to look at it and be like, yeah, this thing is still alive today, like roaming in the oceans out there. So that's just so cool to me. But anyway, in case you're wondering how large this one is, from the tip of the snout to the tip of the tail, we are looking at about five and a half inches which is right around 14 centimeters. And in terms of the height at the highest point, which is at the fin on the back, we're looking at right about two inches, which is about five centimeters. And for comparison, here is the coelacanth with our consistent size comparison with Safari's mascot, Birdie the Gator, and the 2017 Safari LTD Tylosaurus. It's so cool to me to think that some ancient coelacanths that could have looked very similar to the ones that we have in our oceans today could have met up with these huge mosasaurs like Tylosaurus from the late Cretaceous, which is just so cool to me. And of course, these two are drastically out of scale because Tylosaurus was an apex predator of the ocean and coelacanth was much smaller. But if you have the Tylosaurus, you can get an idea of how these two scale up together. But anyway, guys, that is going to do it for this review of the Safari LTD. 
2010 Coelacanth. For a figure that's nearly 11 years old, this one holds up extremely well as well. And if you don't have this one and you'd like to get it, make sure to go to safariltd.com and use the coupon code SPINODUDE at checkout to save 15% on your next order and to show your support for the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed, and I'll catch you all in my next video. So take care, and bye bye